Okay, so now it's time for us to add greater functionality to our existing setup or framework. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create something called a runner class that will provide us with the capabilities of developing a variety of different types of reports. So the first thing we need to do to create a runner class is we're gonna go on the main package here. We're gonna right mouse click. We're gonna go new package and we're gonna create a new package. Let's give provide it with a name of runner and then click finish. Now this particular package is obviously empty because we've just created it. So we need to click right mouse click again. We're gonna go new class and we're gonna provide the actual runner class with a name of runner or let's say main runner. Okay, so now we've got our main runner class created. We need to add the relevant code which will get the generate the reports and get everything up and running. So the first thing that I'm gonna to need to add is something called run with. So we're gonna say run with, and then we're gonna add the following. We're gonna say run with cucumber class. Now we need to import the following package. We also need to import the run with, which is the JUnit runner package. Now we can need to provide more code which will enable us to add Cucumber options to our main runner class. So what we do now is we can say Cucumber options, like so. We need to import the package again. Okay, and now we need to point it to the location of where our feature files are housed. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna link our main runner class with the actual location of our feature files. So what we need to do is we need to type features and then we need to say equals. Now we're gonna get the location which is source test Java. Then it's Cucumber Framework. And then finally, the final package is Feature Files, like so. And the, the following directory needs to be inside a string. So we just need to add the following. Okay, so now we point in, we're saying to our Cucumber Runner class, our feature files are stored within the following location. So we've just gone source test Java. We've gone to the feature files package. And then obviously we can contain our one or more feature files in the following container. So now we need to do the same process for our stepped package or the location of our stepped classes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a comma. Instead of steps, we actually call glue instead. So we say glue is equal to, same process but this time it's going to be a little bit different instead we need to say cucumber framework and then we're going to say dot so we're pointing to the following package we say dot and then steps step files like so so what we've done there is we've pointed to the main actual package, which is here, Cucumber Framework, then we're using a dot instead, and then we're providing the actual package of where our step files are contained. Now we're gonna add the relevant code which will enable us to generate our reports. And for us to generate our reports, we need to use something called plugin. So we type in plugin, we're gonna go equals, and then we're gonna say pretty, which is just to set the format correctly. Now the first report that we're gonna generate is going to be a HTML report. So we say HTML, then we're gonna say double dot target forward slash cucumber. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna generate a HTML report in a folder called target and that's going to provide it with a name of cucumber 
Now we add a comma and we're going to add the relevant code to generate a JSON report. So now we say JSON, we're going to add double dot target, which is the location of our folder or the name of our folder. Then we're going to say cucumber dot JSON. Okay, now we're going to generate the last and final report, which is going to be the actual extends report. So we say com dot cucumber dot listener. Then we're going to say dot extend cucumber. We're going to say formatter. Then we're going to add double dots and the location again. So we're going to say target. And then we can say let's provide it with a name of report dot HTML. Like so. So if I go scroll left a bit, I'm going to put these on the new line. Okay, so my mistake. So it shouldn't be curly braces. We need to add the following instead. So just make sure our cucumber options, we need to add the starting tag here and then the closing. And we can remove that as well. So if we actually save our runner class, we now should be ready to test whether it successfully generates our reports.